Hello everyone, welcome back. We just had a game Hello. out of sync issue, so we've um, decided to try fixing that and it seems to be working. So, to recap, we had just taken Riga as a vassal and we are continuing to siege down places in the Livonian Order and we're reckoning we should probably go to Letgallen and take that first because it's a fort and there's going to be uprising in Orkney and Shetland. Just bear in mind we could reinforce in Riga, couldn't we? Uh, but that said, we've got no manpower, so never mind. Oh shit, yeah, I'd forgotten about manpower. Mm -hmm. I'm just quickly going to check. You can unpause it if you like. I'm just going to check in the ledger for... Um, just be ready to pause. Uh, Teutonic Order. Teutonic Order. Uh, 5,000 people. Uh, two mercenaries. They've got 7,000 manpower. Livonian order. 12,000 people. 1,600 manpower. Eight mercenaries. Right. Okay. Well, we've taken another one of their things, so that's good. Uh, they are offering us peace. Nope. <laughs> no peace. <laughs> Go away. Oh, I remember they were doing that last time, weren't they? Although I have learned something since since then, which is that if someone offers you peace and is offering you a deal that is, what is it? It's basically like an honourable deal. So they're offering you a deal that's less than, less than 20, it's, it's more than 25 score away from the war score that they could take. So if basically, if they're, if they're offering a peace deal that's extremely fair on you, in the computer's eyes, you will lose yep. stability if you don't accept it. Oh, it's probably wow. always worth checking that first. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Dorped. Cool. Never's going nicely. Let Garlin. Shame we can't... Someone up uh, to Ingerman land. Cool. We don't have any cannons, do we, yet? Nah, none yet. I'm thinking about my other game. Do do. You have to be careful with that 1.3 wandering around by itself. Ah, oh, disease outbreak on us. Damn. Hmm. Ah, I can see down in the southwest. Thirteen thousand uh, Sonic Order troops. Tutes <laughs> marching into Königsberg. Okay. 13,000 is quite a few. And that's yep. not even counting any of the uh, Avonian Order's force, wherever that might be hiding. Hmm. Could retreat into Leafland. Um, get the they're not on the move, are they? Bonus. Oh yes, they are on the yeah, move. Yeah, they're marching with purpose. I mean, our war score has leapt up in the last, <laughs> last few minutes. So we, <laughs> we could always just wait and see how they're looking when they get nearby. Yeah. Uh, um, we could send our 1.3 round to let uh, let Gallon. Yeah, let's so that... march him back. Oh, that might work oh. as well. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Uh, and we can leave the 2,000 up there to rejoin in good time, yeah. can't we? Yeah. Well, they'll be ready soon, won't they? Yeah. As soon as the siege is over, we should have some Swedes come down to join us if we're lucky. That would be nice. I'm just going to put it down to speed 2 for now. That's alright. Yeah, could be sensible. Oh, sorry, I keep pausing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you arsehole. Ah! <laughs> I reckon once we've got all our lots, we're, we're in a pretty good position, aren't we? Probably. They oh, they're just sitting in Tute land anyway. Which is fine. Right, let's have a look at this. <laughs> We've received an offer. Uh, right, so it would say at the bottom, this is considered a fair offer and you will lose st stability or whatever. But it's fine. Um, Screw them guys then. They're not even offering us any land. Oh, yes they are. Just Urzel. Lol. Decline. What I'd really like is for this fort to fall before we have to have any fights. Because mm. I, I I don't rate our chances very highly against 
like the 20,000 troops they have combined. Do they have 20,000 troops combined? I think it was about that, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Livonian Order, 8,000. Teutonic Order, uh, 6,000. Yeah. <laughs> 20,000 in total. <laughs> Come on. Just want to take this damn fort before they start marching, because they're... Uh, that's a good idea, what you just did. Yeah, I thought we should keep an eye on Oh, them. did you detach a blockade? I did detach a blockade. Well done. Um, it's good. Not for any particular reason, but it uh, seemed like a good idea. It gives us more war score if we're blockading. Oh. Apparently. Maybe we should have a couple more blockades. Yeah. Yes. That was good. Now let's just try and take these yes. last two, and then hopefully we should be on 100% by then, or close enough. Cool. March them all as one. <laughs> Grasslands and grasslands. All right. Should we send a few to Goldingen as oh, well? I think so. I'm just going to split them in half. Shit. They're sending 8,000. So we can reinforce with whoever, can't we? Ooh. Ha. Loan. Oh, we can actually pay one back. Let's pay it Shall back. Shall we? Yeah. I hope that hasn't just Wait. done it twice. <laughs> Surely not. Shouldn't have done, right? Oh dear, I'm nervous, Michael. Uh, so we should keep all, all of ours together, maybe? Yeah. Just Where are they going? Zimite. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, they're ignoring us. Cool. Still, let's, uh, <laughs> let's stick together. Definitely. Perhaps they're... Where is Norway going? The Norwegians are leaving. Right. Uh, they're reinforcing. Let's go and go to Goldingen, and hopefully we'll get there. Mm. Uh, just a thought. Do you want to see if we can snipe Zemaito? Oh, Zemaito. I see. The Zemaitia. <laughs> Zemaitia. Uh, yeah, we could definitely march into Kovno to get them. 31st of October. Oh, it's Marsh. Ugh. We'll get a penalty for that. But still. Yeah, because um, the the 8,000 are already locked to, to go to Letgallon. They certainly are. Uh, 28th of October they'll be getting there. We can move into Kovno on the 31st. And Teutonic yep. Order will be there on the 25th. Yeah, should we just try that? Yeah. We can always send an envoy mid-battle if, uh, <laughs> if it fucks <laughs> up. Right, he's moving well, back they're in. They're coming back. Well, we're oh, locked we're now, locked. so tough shit. So, no discussion. Still, we can hit them pretty hard early. That's not bad. And then, not so good. All right, sending another peace deal. Let's just check that. Nope. <laughs> Decline. <laughs> um, I mean, we could send something before the end of this battle, if we wanted to. Uh, but they will... They will consider it based on, yeah. That what would it take a day? Yes. Oh, and that's this. This, yeah, this fight's got should. like a week left at least. Do you think it looks bad for us? I don't know yet. I'm happy to wait a little longer. Because we're definitely outnumbered. Yeah. Put it down to speed one. And we've got the marsh penalty. It depends what our numbers are next phase. Three versus a five. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got an excellent general in charge now as well. Mm. Um, give it another couple. Yeah, we're losing a lot of troops there. Uh, what do we roll in the next phase? Yeah, let's <laughs> let's let's not. <laughs> Shall we no send an envoy? Nine plus is three. Yeah, let's let's send an envoy. Right, let's see what we can get from them. Should be a lot better than what we had at the end of the last episode, anyway. Yeah. So, seed provinces. So we better take Ozil. Right, clear offer. There we go. Seed provinces. Uh, Ozil. Correct. Um, ah. ah. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely have just taken Riga rather than have them as a vassal. I'm just looking on the trade map. They, <laughs> they have one of those sort of 
centers of trade in Riga. Okay. Uh, the Daugava Estuary, which gives an extra 10 trade power. In nice. the Baltic Sea, which is where we're starting to want stuff. So that, that would have been nice. Never mind, we can keep that in mind. We'll annex them soon. We'll get them in soon enough, yeah. Okay, Ozil. Um, what else shall we take? Any thoughts? Um, so I'm having a look at the map now. We could get that whole north coast so that we had a border with Sweden. Uh, Revel... So that's Ozil, Raval, Nawa, Ingermanland, Land, and Neva. Nice. We'd still have 42. To play with. Wow. Um, or we could take Leafland as well so that we're touching Riga. Yep. Coalition. While we're at it, we can take you. Dorped. Yep. This would be the take lots of stuff approach. Well, I'm, um, I'm happy with the take lots of stuff approach. You know, we could get all that and get wall reparations. Oh, no, we couldn't. Not quite. No, we'd have to give up on perhaps Dorped. I'd be happy giving up on a province to get some more money. Because at the moment we're struggling. Yeah, we could do with some money, money, couldn't we? Um, which one's one of the worst ones? <laughs> Urzel, ironically, is one of the worst ones. Development-wise. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to give up on Dorped. <laughs> Derped. Yep. <laughs> Derped. Um, war reparations. Derp. Yeah, that takes us to 13 reasons left. So we could get 13 war score more worth of stuff. No, we couldn't. Mm. Not quite. Uh, let's just have a look. Ah, oh. we can almost, <laughs> we can almost make them annul their treaty with the Teutonic Order, but they're on <laughs> zero reasons by that stage. Uh. <laughs> I was looking at trying land. to get them to release Estonia, but we're taking all of those provinces <laughs> off them. Yeah, I'm fine to have Estonia. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about their treaties, to be honest. No. Um, it'd be nice to end their treaty with Teutonics, but who yeah. cares? Just make um, it easier for us next time. So we've got war reparations, Ozil, Ravel, Narwhal, sorry, Narwa, <laughs> Ingermanland, <laughs> Never, Leafland. Yep. Uh, we don't need to take anything for anyone else, do we? Nope. 59 ducats. Return cores, who cares? Um, yeah, maybe just take the ducats. Um, all of that puts me on to 84 piece off of value. Yep, me too. Cool. So, and... there will be a coalition oh. forming against us. It will be the Livonian <laughs> really? Order and the Teutonic Order, because we'll have lots of aggressive expansion with them. Okay. I mean, they're already allies, right? Yeah. But it means that, like, well, no one else would be joining, would they? So that's fine. Um, and it's not putting them... I think the mark for them joining a coalition is 50 aggressive expansion or something like that. And this only puts them just over that, so screw it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to go for this. Me too. Wow. This piece will cost Denmark 123 diplomatic power. Because we're taking it. things that weren't part of the original deal. Uh, we are doing extension is pretty sizable, but not stupid. We are doing trade ideas, which we need our diplomatic power for. Ah, I think that's pretty cheap. 123 for all that. Screw it, let's just do it. It's like basically the size of Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go on then. We've got the Sent. merchant free. Ready? <laughs> Watch us lose this battle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, phew. Thank you, Livonian wow, that's Order. a lot of pop-ups. Great. 59 ducats. 10% oh, of their income. I've no pop-ups except the one saying congratulations. Oh, sorry, not pop-ups. Um, Drop-down things in the top left. Just loads more of those flags appeared. Okay. Danish Baltic. Yeah. Turn that fort on in Reval. Okay. <laughs> if you like. Just in case. Right. 
And get hold of all... Oh my god. Conquer Urzel mission. Brilliant. Not about that mission, actually. Move all our fleet back. Fuck the Livonian Order. Coming straight out the underground. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> our, um, have you put maintenance down? Yeah, to nothing. Oh shit, we can't move them out of Teneric. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll turn it back up. Cool. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to wait for it to tick now, I guess, haven't we? <laughs> there we are. Repay? Yeah. Oh, that disappeared for me that time, that's good. Right, let's detach the boats that we need to send privateering. No, um, protecting trade. And did we decide yep. to do it in Lubeck, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm really rusty at the moment. We will mothball I've the got a, a pop-up. Okay, cool. We've got improvements in trade technology. Ooh. Our merchants have picked up a few new concepts when it comes to handling trade. When they encounter some foreign merchants, they think that with some investment to try it out, it will be very beneficial for Denmark in the long run. So we can go for it or uh, we'll use caution. Uh, do you want some more diplomatic power? <laughs> what are the options? Um, if we spare no expenses, we can gain 50 diplomatic power at the expense of uh, 0.5 inflation. Uh, or else we can just take 10 diplomatic power. Oh, I, I quite value the, the power. I'm, I'm happy to invest in our trade. We are a trade yeah. nation, or we're trying That's to it. be. Um, we haven't Done. got lots of money, but armies at full maintenance and we're looking okay for money. So yeah, sounds good. We've Excellent. only got two loans left. Right, I have sorted out the fleets. So we've got the light ships privateer, uh, uh, protecting trade, and they have the admiral. And the other ships are Great. docked, repairing... Sorry, docked and mothballed. Yep. So we're saving some money there. Right, what else do we have? Uh, this is flashing, rebel uprising. Uh, Norwegian separatists are still at 80%, so we're fine. Liberty Desire. Uh, Sweden's still coming down, that's good. Oh, they've jumped up just recently. Yeah. They were at 50-something. Uh, I guess we lost quite a lot of men in the battle there. That's probably it. Uh, that would be it, yeah. They're, they're in, sorry, their um, opinion of us is going up over time as well, which is great. Is it? Uh, yes, it should be. So, currently they are... We've improved relations, which is decaying at three yearly. Um, yep. Oh no, no, we're staying level. Sorry, I'm just adding up all the things that decay and add yep. every year. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, what's the next thing? You have loans, no problem. Provincial unrest, no problem. Your corruption is growing. Why? Oh, overextension, that's why. Mm. And religious unity is down as well. We must have invaded some land that's not... not our religion. Mm. Yeah, religion in province in Ingermanland and Neva is orthodox. Ah. We'll to get a missionary onto that pretty sharpish. Shall I send one now? We might have to core it first, I'm not sure. But let's ah. sort this corruption out. Um, a total yearly change of minus 0 0.01. There we are. <laughs> uh, free advisor slots. Right, that's right. That's why we're making money. Um, probably stick for that one now. We can make states. Highlands and pharaohs, no problem. Cores. Let's sort out cores. Do we just make all of these cores? I think so, yeah. We've got enough power for all of them, haven't we? Yep, I think so. Looks like it. Yeah, go We're for it. We're not using it for anything else, are we? No. All of them into cores. Ah, oh, no. Oh, Didn't quite have enough for us. We'll That's wait fine. for the next month. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Well, that's good anyway. We've started on the ones that cause the most overextension, so great. We could spend a few birds to to reduce war exhaustion if you want. Um, 
Mm, how much is that going down over time? Recovery speed and stuff. Minus 0 0.1 a month. Um, now I'd rather hold on to hold on to the power. Cool. I reckon if that's going down, that's that's not that yeah, many months, it for, is it? The technology, don't we? Yeah. Recalled our Norwegian diplomat. Cool. Me too. There we go. Coring that too. It'll take three years. We need a mission. Ah, let's pause it and have a look at those. Our manpower reserves need to recover. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, but it's got to get up to 90%. That's quite high. Uh, Just about not starting any wars for a while, isn't that? 19409 <laughs> times 0 0.9 uh, divided by 160 a month. That's 109 months, which is nine years. Eh. <laughs> There's got to be something better. Improving relations with Saxe Lauenburg. I can't even find them, but. I know from experience they are somewhere just south oh, of Holstein. Them. There you go, yeah, that just, one little problem. Yeah, that's <laughs> there, that one. Um, or remove Lubeck from the map. Well, ooh. they're at plus two at the moment. Yeah, I do want to remove Lubeck from the map. Ooh, However, ooh, ooh. Uh, we've, uh, as previously mentioned, we've got no. Um, we can't do we've that got yet, really can't low we? manpower. Yeah. Fair enough. And we could do with recovering some money. Although, if we take that, we'd get loads of money. <laughs> we would. But no, that's... Yeah, go on. Let's improve relations first. Plus, that will give go us on. extra diplomatic reputation, which is great. Because um, mm. that's going to improve our relations with our subjects and therefore give them lower liberty desires. Pardon me. Um, Riga. I'm going to ask them to embargo rivals for us. Because it's only 5% Liberty Desire, and they're at 38. I think that's fine. What was that you say? Embargo rival. Uh, get Riga to embargo rivals for us. Uh, yep. Yeah. Does does that damage their relations with us at all? No, it's just an extra 5% Liberty Desire, which is well within fine, right? operating parameters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Scootage is really awesome. That's something I've done yeah. in my Japan game. They will not be called into wars, but they will give you 50% extra income. And it, it actually yeah, so improves they're... relations, because it's you saying, you don't have to fight in our... It's us saying, you don't have to fight in our wars, you can be safe. And they're quite a, an economic hub, right? As far as I'm aware, yeah. Um, well, an additional 50% of their income to us is uh, 0.2 monthly. <laughs> Which doesn't sound like a lot, but right, that's not to be sniffed at. Yeah, I'd do that. It just means they won't come in. Yeah, I'll, I'll click it. It just means they won't come in on um, on fights with us. Yeah, well, and they've only got a thousand anyway. Who cares? Yeah. Cool. Right, it's all looking good. Cores are happening. So why can't we change the? Um, why can't we sort the? Bloody religion out. Uh, in government land, why can't we send a missionary? Oh, we're already working there to make it into a core. Yes, okay. We'll send our missionary there when it's time to convert it to Catholic in inverted commas. <laughs> okay, how's money looking? Still 1.81. Oh, God, we've got army maintenance on full still. God. Steve. I actually know we we want that for now. Do we? Just so they can reinforce. Oh, but we don't have any manpower, so we've got to wait for that to go up first. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Let's save money first. Yep. Um, Estonian separatists are coming up, though. Wow. They're at 70% already. <laughs> oh, shit. Erzl, Reval. How big are they going to be? Stability and expansion. Estonian separatists. 13,000. 13, That's quite a lot. Holy crap. Should we handle them? Uh, how does one do that? Handle them. Estonian separatists. So we could accept demands, which I'd rather not do. Oh, yeah, just release <laughs> Estonia, right? Or harsh treatment, putting their progress of uprising back by 30%. Oh, we've got so much military power to spend. But 30%? Like, in the last, what, five minutes of us playing, they've jumped up to 70. Did they maybe start at... No, 60. they start at zero. 
It's because well, unrest a, is so high in those provinces. They've got a 25% chance of increasing the progress by 10% yeah. each month. So, they, so roughly 10% every four months. So that would be a year's progress, roughly, harsh treatment would would do. Right. I mean, we're going to have to deal with them anyway, right? Or are you thinking we buy yeah. ourselves some time? I'm thinking we buy ourselves some time or like ah, wait until... Yeah. They, you know, whatever happens. Okay, yeah, well, let's... let's... Once we've cored the stuff, we can change their culture and that'll help. Yeah. Go on, then, let's, let's do that and buy some time. Um, Harsh treatment. There we are. And having our army parked in Reval, for example, also reduces the um, unrest in that province oh, if it's does a full it? maintenance. So Great. let's get them worked up. England spying on us. Bastards. Oh, scary stuff. It's going really fast, I'm scared. Minus. There we go. 1.76 a month. Fine. Bloody Estonian separatists. I know. What are they like? How are we looking at technologies? Halfway to the diplomatic and military ones. Well, diplomatic could be nice. Get better trade efficiency and trade range. So a lot of this unrest is caused by war exhaustion. <laughs> and stability. I know you want war exhaustion to go down. Oh, it's already at 2.45 though. Yeah, I mean it's declining nicely, so I wouldn't worry too much. But it's uh, the separatism that really does it, isn't it? I don't think we need to worry about them too much, as long as we keep it below 100, like, pretty soon they'll start diminishing anyway. Yeah. Don't mind spending 50 military power every couple of years. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's really refreshing playing with you, you know that, because... <laughs> really? Because yeah, I'm so relaxed about it. No, well, sort of, I guess, but when I'm watching... The only people I've ever watched play EU for uh, value, mm. milita sorry, value monarch points, essentially, over everything else. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not me. <laughs> it's just no, we we have to wait for all this time and spend the money in order to get the ten percent discount on admin power, you know, um, mm. because they are so focused on we conquer and we need all of those all of that power to core the land that we take. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, it's it's really good to play with someone who's just sort of values it slightly <laughs> differently. Because that's, that's not the way I play the game. You know, I don't just aggressively expand massively. I have long years of just sitting at peace. Yeah, one of the best tips I read when I started playing EU was it's okay to not be doing anything mm. sometimes. You, you can just sit back for a few years and just respond. That That's not a bad thing to do in a lot of yeah. situations. For example, if you're trying to... We've paid off a couple of our loans now. We've only got two left. Yeah. We're building up money. We are. We should be able to repay the next one before it's due. Yeah. Uh, no, we won't. 81. Uh, 82 ducats it's going to be. And we've got <laughs> two months. Okay. To get oh, maybe we'll pay off the one in June. Nope, I lied. We've got two months and a year, so... Ah. Oh, no problem. So I thought man. it was 1474 already. We've got a, a pop-up again. Cool. The family's left behind. <laughs> the recent war took a heavy toll on our people. <laughs> Many, presumably the people who had just recently became our people. Mm. Many were called, few returned, because they're all still sitting in the Baltic. <laughs> yeah. The families of nobles and commanders alike toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home. But the war ended, and they never did. Now the toiling continues, many being so preoccupied with the work to make up for the lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. Of the ones who have time to think, many are increasingly thinking that we have been throwing away lives too carelessly. Oh dear. Well, we we have three sort of... things we can do. Yeah. One thing we can do is ease the tax burden on the bereaved, um, which will reduce, uh, yeah, reduce national tax by 15%. Uh, Doesn't okay. sound great. Let us be more lenient drafting for the army in future, which means our national manpower modifier goes down by 20%. 20%. Uh. Um, 
both of these are just for the next five years. Or we could just say, this is the price that must be paid for our glorious nation of Denmark. <laughs> uh, Denmark gets suffering bereaved, uh, giving the following effects, national unrest plus two until, yeah, for the next five years again. Right, so that would increase rebels firing all over the place. Yep. Um, I don't like the sound of that. Well, what is national unrest at the moment? Uh, 4.02. Okay, so adding another but 2 to that would be That's because of overextension great. and war exhaustion. It will be into the minuses um, once those two disappear. Mm. And, you know, our overextension's 30% of the way, basically, to being zero. War exhaustion mm. is still coming down. But another two years, but less than two years before it's completely gone. Yeah, so we could just take the unrest and. But yeah, but it's again, fine, here we? I am. Here, here I am. This is this this is another good thing about you playing. Um, you're happy to take bad things because it's in the name of the country. We're sort of role playing a bit. It's not all mm. about the numbers, you know. I'd al al almost <laughs> always go, oh yeah, let's take the unrest because then we can keep our money and we can keep our manpower and all that. But yeah, you know, what 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 do you think? I mean, we, we, we have been saying glory to Denmark and expanding into Estonia. Yep. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I suppose uh, being nice to the people isn't necessarily what's best for them, is it? No, we need uh, we need a, a strong, stable strong, government. That strong can take and stable economy. Tough decisions. Yep, yep. Uh, yep. Deliver on what, this is the, what price the people asked for. Deliver on what the people asked for. <laughs> um... <laughs> want oh, a, satire. A red and white Danish Baltic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so... We're going to have I to mean, fight all these bastards anyway at some point. Let's just put the yeah, unrest up we, to five years. We're handling it pretty well, aren't we? we? Are. In, as I say, in five two years... years well, look, in two years, all of our cores will be done. Well, almost done. And uh, more exhaustion will be at zero. So... And our people yep. will have recovered. Yeah, do it. This is the price that must be paid for our glorious nation. Bit more national unrest. Who cares? Oh. Uh, right, that's put the Estonian separatists back up. Uh, not by much, though. Oh, it still only says a 25% chance of... Oh, <gasps> flip. This is oh, why we shouldn't French have allies. against England, Leinster, Portugal and Utrecht. Wow. Brilliant. We was joined as a regular ally. It will be twice as expensive for the enemy to take our provinces, but we will not be able to call our own allies. If we decline, we lose 25 Utrecht? prestige. Utrecht, that's sort of down in Holy Roman Empire territory, I think. Uh, Sounds like it, doesn't that? Utrecht. Where is oh, it? Oh, I see. It's by Holland. Oh, God. They're fighting over that. Mate, uh, are they fighting over that? No, it's oh, the French sorry. reconquest of Bordeaux, but that's that's one of their allies. Right, gotcha. I don't think we need to worry about that too much. I think if we accept that and just don't <laughs> just do anything, send or maybe a letter send, with our best maybe wishes. Send a fleet if we want to or something. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get hit too hard. War exhaustion won't go down. True. But um, we could just buy that down. We could so. just buy that down. It'd only be seventy-five. Diplomatic yeah. power, if we wanted. I'd, I'd be happy to accept. Um, yep. It'd be a shame to get the... Yeah, to, it'd be a shame to decline that. Plus, yeah, we yeah. could always yeah send a fleet out I, or something. I think it's an, Ill, an ill-fated war. <laughs> uh, England are much stronger than France. And they've got Portugal. Possibly about, about in line with France and us together. Well, um, we're, we're hopefully out of the way enough that it shouldn't matter. Should we accept? Yeah, yeah. Done. This is us being friends with people again, pulling us into bloody wars. Yeah. How's Austria looking? Are you in a war? No. I'm just <laughs> keep on looking at them ready to declare on Lubeck. Uh, I'm going to set uh, Sweden and Norway to act independently, aggressive, <laughs> so they can go off and get involved Hilarious. if they want to. You know what these Swedes are like. Modern day oh, here another again. agent, whatever. <laughs> I 
I'm just going to move some washing. That's all right. I think we should probably end the episode there anyway. 35 oh, minutes. Oh, fair enough. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you Thank after you. the washing's done. <laughs> See you in a sec. <laughs>